Right, so we have Team of the Season Gomez, we have Team of the Season Hamshik, and we have Team of the Season Callahan. You can get Callahan by doing the Daily Knockout Tournament. I'm sorry that there was no video yesterday. There was a lot of DIY going in on in my house. There was a lot of banging, there was a lot of noise. So I couldn't get a video done. But that did give me enough time to, to get the Callahan. I did do the Daily Knockout, won it first time, which is... You know, not wasting much time doing that. But Callahan looks good, Gomez looks good, Hamshik looks good. The team of the season cards, they're all gonna look good. Team of the season, Gomez is in games, that's uh, absolutely ridiculous. 99s on like his dribbling, you know, 99 balance, 99 agility, 99 acceleration, that's very, very good. 5'5 five five as well. So you know for a fact that he's just gonna be ridiculous to dribble with in game. Attacking positioning wise, shooting stats wise, all fantastic. Passing stats wise, all fantastic. You know, dribbling, it, ridiculous. Everything is ridiculous other than his physical. Callahan as well. He, he doesn't look as good as Gomez, but he looks alright. You know, he's got 99 attacking positioning, 95 sprint speed, 95 acceleration. Dribbling stats aren't too bad. His shooting stats aren't even that bad, even with 94 volleys, you know, 90 shot, uh, long shots as well. Hamshik again, just looks ridiculous. He's got 90s everywhere, literally everywhere. 95 stamina, you know, 95 ball control, 94 dribbling, which is really good. The only thing I am worried about a little bit is his agility and balance. That's the reason I've put an engine card on him to try and improve his dribbling a little bit. Because I wanted to add pace and dribbling, and I'm pretty sure that engine is the only chem style that actually adds pace and dribbling to a card. Now passing wise, Hansik, look at the state of those. 97 short passing, 90 long passing, 95 vision. That's that's looking promising. I'm going to be playing him at Cam, Callahan and Gomez up top. Custom tactics, I've tweaked them just a little bit. I want to test them out, you know, to see if they do well. I've put the speed up by from 60 to 65, so I've put it up by 5. And I've reduced the shooting by from 70 to 65, just to see if it makes any difference. Let's get into a game anyway. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has for the first game. Oh my god. This guy's gonna relegate himself. I'm in Division 1. I don't know why he's matching me up against this team. With the team I have, I, I really don't know why he's matching me up against this guy. He's obviously just gonna relegate himself. And there we have it. He relegated himself. Let's get into another game anyway. Let's go. Now let's see what team this guy has. Oh, thank god. He's not got a... He's not gonna relegate himself, hopefully, anyway. Uh, usually when you come up against teams that are actually... You know, built together. He's got chem styles on his players and stuff. So, hopefully this guy doesn't just quit out straight away. I'll show you guys what I do in game. 4 3 one, two, obviously. Squad. Uh, Gomez is going on the right. Alexandro. Oh, no, he's not. No, no, no he's not. Callahan's going on the right. Gomez is going on the left. Alexandro and Hansik switch. I put Alexandro on the left. And that is how the team will be set out. There we go. I have player instructions. You guys will probably know this by now. Getting behind, press back line on the front two. Stay forward on the cam. Stay back while attacking on the centre, centre mid. Everything else is unbalanced. Let's get into this. Let's go. Hamshik, brilliant. Gomez is in. Oh my god, that speed boost. How is that not a free kick? What? Oh, no way. I tried to tackle him, but... I, I don't know what happened. My player just like got stuck behind him and now look he's stuck inside of him. Like what is going on? Gomez. Callahan. Ooh, nice little finish. There we go. 99 attacking positioning coming into play there. Gomez. That's it. Off you go. Gomez. That's a penalty. There we go. <laughs> Those shot free kicks are just absolutely disgusting. The guy actually defended it really well. He's just... Those shot free kicks always get you through. I don't know why, but... It is what it is. We're also going to take the penalty with Gomez since he won it. I'll, pre I'll, I'll pretend to go right and then I'll go left. There we go. Happy days. Alejandro Gomez is on the score sheet. That's what I like to see. Just need Hamshik to get on there now. Oh, nice Gomez. Oh, he's dribbling. He's so silky. He's dribbling. He's ridiculous. What a finish as well. Oh, this Alejandro Gomez is nice. He's just he's dribbling. He's so close to his body. It's, it's just so easy to get the space with. And the guy's rage quit at 3-1. I'm quite surprised. What minute was that in? Was that the first half? I think it was. I'm surprised he quit that early on because that guy was a decent player. But let's get into another game anyway. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. I like this. I really do like this. I like the way he set this out. Uh, some players are off of chem, but that's, that's not too bad because they're on like 6 chem, I think, or 7 chem. So that's, like I said, it's not too bad. But I like... The amount of informs, you know, the amount of colourful cards he's got. Oh, no way, that's a pen. Has it really given a pen for that? Oh, my God. I think it has as well. 
I, I, that challenge, I've just seen it. I didn't even touch him. I legit didn't even touch him. Can't believe he's given a pen for that. Nah, we saved it. Get in there. What a ball that is by him. That's, wow. Okay. <laughs> what a ball and what a goal by the, this guy, man. I can't believe he scored that. What? 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 <laughs> I, I literally couldn't lock onto my defender. And he, oh my god. And uh, this has been such a boring game and he's had like two attacks. So defensive, this guy. That's it, Callahan. Come on. Oh, that's a great finish. I needed him there. I really needed Callahan to pull out something there, man. This guy is so defensive, man. I'm struggling to break him down so much. He's, he's literally had like two shots. I'm pretty sure he's had like two shots on target and just... I, it's, it's been a common theme recently on FIFA for me. I'm conceding like every shot on target. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh my god, man. So done. I just, I want to just stop playing already. I'm just so bored. How? How? Look at that. Headed it back into the box. And then he heads into the back post. Like, why are my defenders just leaving him? That's it. Alaba. Come on. Drill it across. Callahan. Callahan's actually been really good. By the way, my PC crashed for his fourth goal. But uh, Callahan, for some reason, has been the star of the show so far. I really don't understand why, but it's just the way this is going. So, <laughs> you know, I can't really complain. Alaba did really well there. Look at the run down the wing. Fantastic. Drill it across. Callahan in the right place at the right time. That's that 99 attacking positioning coming into play. Lost 4 2. I am quite surprised I lost against that guy because I usually can beat people who are just really defensive, but. Honestly, it felt like every single shot this guy took, he just went into the back of the net. So I, I couldn't couldn't do anything. He just, every single shot went in. Let's get into one last final game anyway. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Bundesliga. He's got Vidal at Cam, but as a CDM. Um, okay. No. No, not Vidal. At CDM at Cam. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my conceding these goals I told you though guys every single shot as of late on FIFA I don't know what's happened but I just can't stop goals from going in Gomez Callahan come on Callahan get in there do you know what like I said guys this guy has been the star of the show so far he really has he's been really really good at striker I'm quite surprised at how good he's been that's it Gomez He's in. Can you finish it? I can. I thought that went wide for a second there. I was so, like, confused. It looked like it was going wide and then, like, looked like it kind of curved at the last second into the bottom corner. So, get in there, Alejandro Gomez. Um, do you know what, though? I'm going to be completely honest. So far, Callahan has actually been the better striker. I think maybe Gomez would be the better cam, but so far, Callahan has been the better striker. Alejandro, what a run he's made. Get in there. Beautiful to Callahan. Callahan, he's he's just finishing everything. Callahan gets in the position and he finishes it. Oh, he's done me there. He's absolutely done me there. Fair play to him. That fake shot just destroyed me. Oh, nice. Alexandro, no, it's not even Alexandro. It's Talisa. What? I thought it was Alexandro because I'm playing Alexandro on the left. So I, I just thought it was Alexandro making the run. Talisa has no right to be finishing that with his left foot from there. But you know what? I will take it because every shot I have I have conceded, I have I've conceded from it. Uh, every shot I've conceded, I've I've conceded from it. Yeah. That's that's the right way to go about it. That's the right way to say it. Hamshik. Go on, lad. Hamshik. Come on. Oh, nice little finish. I think that's Hamshik's first goal, isn't it? Do you know what? I I honestly I, I don't think he suits Cam. I, I just don't think he suits Cam. Gomez over to Callahan. Callahan has just been fantastic. He really has. This guy, he's well worth unlocking. Let's just say that. He's definitely well worth unlocking. I would say a 6 2 win. However, I, unfortunately, I, I think I have a few negatives about this team, you know. I guess. I'll speak about them in a sec. So I'm just going to say straight away, Alejandro Gomez is not suited to striker. I, I wanted to put him striker and Callahan striker and Hamsik at Cam. 
just so I could get them more involved in the video. But I think Gomez would be much better suited to that cam position because of his strength. It's as simple as that. He gets out muscled so easily. It's strange though because he's got 52 strength. And what's Callahan's? I think Callahan's isn't even that much better. 59 strength. So there's not much difference, but Gomez just feels so much weaker. Like, he, he just gets shrugged off the ball so easily. And when he's playing at striker, he doesn't really get the space to, to dribble around players and stuff like that. Because that's probably his biggest advantage. Like, that's probably his biggest pro is the dribbling on Alejandro Gomez. If you can get the space, this Alejandro Gomez will be so deadly because... He's so quick off the mark, and his dribbling is absolutely ridiculous. It really is. It's just unfortunate I didn't really get to show it playing him at striker, just because the defender would get so tight to, to Gomez, he'd just lose the ball straight away. And, yeah, he was getting a little annoying towards the end. So, pace-wise, as I said, he's really quick off the mark. He's, he's absolutely rapid, to be fair. Finishing-wise, when he did get the chance to finish, I didn't have a problem with him. Attacking positioning-wise... He got into the space, you know, he was making runs in behind, so can't really complain about that. Uh, long shots, didn't really get to, I think I tested out, test out one, one shot I think I had and it went in, I'm pretty sure. So long shots wise, yeah, I didn't really get to test them too much, but I think I took one and it went in, so that's obviously a good, good sign. Passing wise, ridiculous. That's why I would suggest playing this guy at Cam, because he's passing... He's amazing. He's dribbling. He's got all the attributes to be a really good cam. So definitely play this guy at cam. Don't play him at striker. Don't make the same mistake I did. Dribbling wise, his biggest bonus, like his biggest pro, without a doubt. He's he's like Salah. You know, he's like Messi. He's just so quick to turn with and doing the close control with him. Oh my god, he's so easy. He's so so easy. You can just weave in and out of challenges. Oh yeah, he's dribbling. He's just absolutely insane. Callahan was actually the star of the show and I'm actually really glad I got him now because he's either going to make for a really good super sub or I might even use him on, in my main team for now for cost of the month. I'll play of the month money and he's not been as good recently so I might try Callahan in there. I might just put him in there on 7 chem but this Callahan was the star of the show in this video. I was quite surprised. Obviously lightning quick 95 pace. He's obviously going to be fast. 99 attacking position. I think that might be the key stat here. I think that might be the key stat because he is Always getting into the space to receive a pass or is always getting in behind. And I think he's got tries to beat defensive line trade. You can definitely tell. He's just, his position is ridiculous. When, you, when you're watching him making runs, it's like, wow, you're, like, you're really impressed by it, you know. And yeah, I was really impressed by this Callahan. Positioning wise, finishing wise, didn't miss a chance with him. Shot power wise, it feels higher than 88. I'm going to be completely honest. It really does feel higher than 88. Long shots wise, didn't really get to test them out again. But that's It's annoying with players like, like, like when you use players as a striker and they've got decent long shots. Majority of the time, you can't test them out when you're playing them as strikers. You don't really get the chance to take a long shot because the defender is so close to you. So you either just have to get in behind. Or by the time the striker has received the ball, they're already near the box. So you can't really take a long shot with them. Passing wise, quick one twos, that's all you need with him, and he's got exactly that. Short passing 84, vision 87, it's more than good enough. Dribbling wise, very, very nice, very smooth, not stiff at all. I thought, you know, maybe his dribbling might be a bit off, but no, he's, he's really, really smooth to, to dribble with. And you can do like the heel to heel flicks and the fake shots, he's really quick to come out of them. So that's always a massive bonus because it gives you that little speed boost. Now, handshake. Oh, by the way, he is pretty weak, but he doesn't really feel that weak. He doesn't feel as weak as Alejandro Gomez, that's for sure, anyway. Hamshik, now, I've got, you know, I've got a problem with this Hamshik. And I think the problem is, is that I played him at camp. You, you really need to play this guy at centre mid, I think, to get the most out of him. He just doesn't suit camp. Mainly because his, his agility, his, his balance, it's not that good. And you can tell in game, he's not as smooth on the ball as you need a camp to be, so... I would say play him at centre because he's got the defensive stats as well. He's got the 82 interceptions. He's got the 83 standing tackle. He's got 95 stamina. So he can play at centre mid without a doubt. He just doesn't have the agility or the skill moves to play at cam. Or, or, the, or the pace even. I don't even think he's got enough pace to play at cam if I'm honest. I really didn't get the chance to do much with this handshake. And it's mainly because I was playing him at cam. And like I said, his, his agility and balance is just not... It's not good enough for Cam, and I just couldn't turn quick enough with him. He's not quick enough either, and I don't have. He doesn't have skill moves, so I can't do a skill move around players. So yeah, I really didn't get much chance to 
to do anything with him. But attacking positioning wise, you can definitely tell he's got that high attacking positioning because he's always in the space, he's always on the move. So that's a massive bonus. Even though I didn't really get the chance to do much with him, I could definitely tell his attacking positioning was there. Passing wise, again, I could definitely tell he had that as well. That's This is the reason I would play him at centre mid because he's passing. He's going to just cut open the defence. So I would honestly just stick this guy at centre mid. Dribbling wise, like I said, he feels a little stiff, feels a little clunky. He's not as smooth as you'd want him to be as a cam. And but the but the thing is, like as you can see in the stats, he's got really good dribbling stats and stuff. It's just at cam, you need to be able to turn a little bit quicker. Whereas at centre mid, I think those dribbling stats would be okay, you know, because. You can dribble around a centre mid easily if you've if you've got those sort of dribbling stats. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new. Twitter's always is down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.